Hello everyone, so it's Katie here from the Queen of Teen Fiction and it is the 1st of November which can only mean one thing. It's time to start the emotional roller coaster and torturous madness that is NaNoWriMo. For those of you who don't know, NaNoWriMo is short for National Novel Writing Month and it is the challenge to write a 50,000 word or more story within the month of November. There is also a Camp NaNoWriMo version that takes place in the summer. I did that in July this year and I made videos throughout the month. I have a playlist of those videos on my channel and I will leave a link to them at the end of this video in case you want to check them out. NaNoWriMo is a completely crazy month. There is always guaranteed to be blood, sweat and tears. Lots and lots of tears. But even though I always say to myself that I'll never do it again, here I am doing it again. So I had an idea in mind for this year's NaNoWriMo a few months ago. It was an idea that I partially came up with during Camp NaNoWriMo. I wrote it down in a notebook and put it aside for this November and I've been building a story around that for a couple of months and I was all set to work on that idea. It was kind of a fantasy mystery ghostly story but I was going to do that and then something changed and about two weeks ago mid-October I completely changed my mind and so now I'm doing something else. I took part in my first NaNoWriMo back in 2012. I decided to write up a story about a character that had been in my mind for a couple of years and came up with the character and the idea for the story back in 2010 I think. It happened after I experienced a really weird deja vu. I don't know if you've ever had deja vu but if you haven't you probably know what it is. It's that really weird sensation where you feel like you've experienced something before but I'd had it a few times in the past anyway but this time it was really really weird. I'd had an argument with my sister I can't even remember what it was about but she stormed out of the room and me being the stubborn little madam that I am went for round two. So I also stormed out of my room to find her and carry on complaining at her and it was as I walked outside the bedroom and saw her standing out there that I experienced deja vu. She was standing in a specific way like leaning against a table that we had outside the room and she had her elbows resting on it and was giving me the most evil death glare and the deja vu made me feel like I had seen that before but it was really weird because I also felt like as I walked out of the room I already knew in my head what she was going to look like. This probably sounds completely stupid but it was like I knew she was going to be standing in that exact way. So not only did it feel like I had already seen that image in my head before but it felt like I was predicting the image before I saw it. So yeah that was really weird and it freaked me out and it was that night that I came up with a character who was a clairvoyant. I built a story around this girl who kept having quick little glimpses of the future and she didn't really know what to do with them and because they're such quick flashes she doesn't really get much information from them and then one day she sees one that is pretty serious and then it's up to her to decide whether she should step in and get involved with the vision that she's just seen or whether she should just leave it alone because the vision wasn't about her so it's not her problem. So even though I came up with that basic story outline back in 2010 it wasn't until NaNoWriMo 2012 that I actually decided to sit down and write it and it became the first story that I actually wrote up start to finish which shocked me because I never expected to actually complete NaNoWriMo and actually write an ending for a story because up until that point I would start stories and then just never go back to them. So I really enjoyed the experience of writing the story but when I went back to read it over a couple of months after writing it I just didn't like it at all. I know everyone reads back their writing and probably hates it and think that it's all wrong but the, really this story just didn't seem right to me. When I read it back it wasn't anywhere near as exciting as it was when I was thinking it up in my head and so I kind of just left it and never really went back to it. And there were also a few plot holes in the story that I couldn't figure out any answers to and I always felt like there was more to the story rather than just a simple story about a teenage clairvoyant it seemed quite cliche and I couldn't figure out how to fix that so basically I just ended up leaving it on my laptop and not returning to it. So that was back in 2012 and I haven't bothered trying to think about it since then but there I was two weeks away from starting NaNoWriMo with a new and exciting idea when I started figuring out what went wrong with that first story. I don't really know how it happened but I suddenly started getting a bunch of ideas as to how I could improve it 
It was probably because at the time I was researching my family tree so I was really into family history and I was using all the ancestry websites and stuff to look at old documents from my family's past and I kind of just went back to the character in that story and started to think about where she got her clairvoyancy because the problem with the story originally was that it kind of just randomly appeared and it didn't really have any explanation as to why she could suddenly see the future and so sitting there looking at all these family tree websites I realised that I could incorporate that into her family history and have this as something that has been passed down through generations of her family. So then I came up with this whole family tree for this character and before I knew it I had an ancient society and it wasn't just about a clairvoyant power anymore, it was about a bunch of things. So my character had a lot more power now and she had a bigger backstory, she had something to investigate and suddenly there was a lot more fantasy to it. So yeah, Two weeks away from the start of NaNoWriMo, I closed the notebook on the idea I had been working on for the past couple of months and decided to go back to my first story. Two weeks beforehand. Two weeks! I have been looking to fix this story for three years and it happens two weeks before NaNoWriMo. Talk about inappropriate timing! But I couldn't just ignore the fact that I was suddenly excited for this idea again. The entire story had completely changed in my mind. I even had completely different characters. So I definitely just decided there and then that I was going to work on this story. I've been researching like crazy for the past two weeks and I'm so excited about this story now because it's got a lot more fantasy in it. It's got some mythology in it, a few urban legends, and it had none of that the first time around. It was just basically about a girl that could see the future solving a crime. And now it is so much more than that, so I am really really excited to get started. But I am really really nervous about starting to write because I feel like I haven't had enough preparation for it. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting month. And here I am on the first day making videos about writing instead of actually writing, which is a fantastic start. I hope I'm going to be able to make a few videos throughout the month to keep you updated on all things nano related. That rhymed. But I say that now, when it comes to making videos, I probably just won't be in the mood. It will depend on my stress levels and my sanity and how much sleep I've had. I don't really want to be filming videos on two hours of sleep and five cups of coffee because who knows what will happen. Do let me know if you're taking part in NaNoWriMo this month. Have you done it before or is this your first time attempting it? Either way, I wish you good luck. Be sure to let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I now need to embark on my NaNoWriMo journey. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye!